so I'm sorry. My life is not real. <laughs> so blue, there's so many waterfalls! Oh my god! Viva Chiapas, baby! and welcome to San Cristobal de las Casas. I am so excited to be here. It feels like my second day, but I've actually been here for like, uh, like five days. Um, and the reason for that is because if you would have watched my last vlog in Oaxaca, I have pretty horrific chest cold. So I had to take an overnight bus, very unwell. And when I arrived, I slept for like two days straight. I definitely needed it. I'm feeling so much better. And I'm only here for like eight more days. So I'm trying to soak up as much of the city as possible. It's absolutely stunning. And there's so much to do. So this morning, we are gonna go to breakfast in the center. And then we're gonna go on the free walking tour that they offer every day at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. I'm so excited. So let's go. So I actually can't remember the last time I had pancakes, but as you will see here, the ethnic food is so good. Yesterday was the first day I was feeling good, so I had Korean ramen for lunch and then Chinese for dinner, and they were so freaking good, but obviously so much salt, so I'm like craving something sweet so much right now. So I got these berries and amaranth hotcakes, definitely dessert for breakfast. But I don't care. Mm -mm. Okay, that was such a cute spot. I definitely recommend it. If I was here longer, I would 100% go work there, even though where I'm staying, Co 404. The co work space here, I think, is even more beautiful than the one in Oaxaca. So I'm definitely gonna be giving you guys a tour when I return. But yeah, the Wi Fi there is really fast, and there's lots of cozy spaces inside to work as well, like couches and stuff. By the way, if you want a curated list of all of the accommodations, cafes, co work spaces around the world that I've worked and recommend for digital nomads, click the link in the description. The Nomad Map has all of that and I add to it every single time I travel. So definitely go check that out. Anyways, I have about three minutes until the walking tour starts and about three minutes till I get to Plaza de la Paz where we begin. So it's time to get a move on. So if you couldn't tell by now, I decided to challenge myself and take the Spanish tour. There's obviously an English tour as well, but I really wanted to practice. But one thing I'm finding so interesting that I knew I was gonna find the most interesting is just how diverse this city and the entire state of Chiapas is. So as you walk around the city, you can literally look at what people are wearing and you can actually tell what kind of indigenous group they're from. So for example, if you see a woman wearing a long black skirt that's furry, that means they're from Jomula, which by the way, definitely going there. que es el cerro que vemos a nuestra mano izquierda. Wow. Es un cerrito que tiene obviamente una iglesia en, en la parte de, de arriba. Cuenta con más de 300 escaleras en el frente. Pareciera que es fácil. A la gente le gusta mucho subir y es un lugar que gente debe estar en tu bucket list, ¿no? Como que estás ahora en San Cristóbal. Definitely planning to do that hike at some point to that church. Probably at sunrise. I've heard it's really cool at sunrise. Ajá. I'm obsessed with this market. We don't have much time to shop, but I am 100% gonna come back here, get some souvenirs for myself and the fam, and I'm really excited. I have decided to actually exit the tour early. It was so good, so thorough. They really go all out. It's 1 p.m. We started at 10.15 and they're still going. So in addition to all of the ethnic foods that are in San Cristobal, there's also a lot of vegan and vegetarian options. And I've heard really good things about this vegan place. So let's go check it out. decide what to get so I got the sample platter no regrets got some sushi here we've got a bao some veggies some potatoes and I'm usually not much of a fake meat person this 
is unreal and it's with some veggies. They also have like curry and ramen and stuff like that, but I've had a lot of that lately and I'm having curry tonight and the view is perfection. <laughs> That, that's good for me. Push, this is amazing. You're okay. such, you're you're so such a great person. Yeah. Oh. Wow. 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 Chef, Chef Kush. Oh. Yeah, Kush, 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 Okay, so I'm having a little bit more of a chill work day today. I started the day with yoga, which was super nice, as you saw, and I've just been kind of working on my laptop and the co-work, which I am about to give you a full tour of this Co404 location. Obviously, if you've been watching my last few videos in Oaxaca City, you'd know that I was staying at the Co404 in Oaxaca. Absolutely loved it. They do such an incredible job of fostering community and also giving you the top-notch digital nomad facilities that you need to work remotely. But I thought I would give you a tour. I am in such a beautiful room. I'm absolutely in love with it. So I will show you this real quick. So this is my private room. We've got, I believe this is a double, maybe even a queen. Over here we have like the closet section. So there's a whole area to hang all of your clothes. I just kind of stuck my packing cubes here. I'm assuming this is the hamper. That's what I've been using it for. I am definitely in need of a laundry run soon. And then over here we have the desk. It's always really nice to have desks in the room just in case the call rooms are all taken up. There are four and usually there's always room, but just in case you maybe wanna have like a little more of a private work day, not in the co-work. This is super nice to have a desk right here. And then over here we have a lovely full length mirror. You guys know I always appreciate a full length mirror. And then over here we have a private ensuite bathroom feeling super luxurious has like a very cool stone aesthetic in here and then this is the shower the water pressure and heat is perfect and yeah sink right here mirror I'd say the only con that I have about this room is that it's right on the road and the walls are kind of thin or like echoey so you definitely hear a lot of the street noise I do recommend earplugs otherwise it's lovely right out here is the reception area. We have a couple more private rooms. So here's one, there's one more right here. And then there's only one dorm in here. So there are four people in here. So these are what the bed looks like. Got privacy curtains, which is essential. But yeah, there's only four, four beds in here. Some place to put your clothes. And then there is also a ensuite bathroom that everyone shares. And down the main hall, we have the main common area where everybody hangs out. There's lots of cozy couches and there's a TV, some games, some books it's just nice and cozy and then right through here we have the kitchen with a big dining room table an oven an eight burner stovetop a microwave blender toaster coffee machine and then lots of places for cups and bowls and everything lots of refrigerator space and different places to put your pantry items and then right through here we have the beautiful co-work space it kind of has like greenhouse vibes lots of natural light it's absolutely stunning there's so many places to work the Wi-Fi is fast and reliable and there are some cozy places to lay out as well as four private call rooms for your meetings and then right out the back door of the co-work is the garden yeah the garden this whole backyard area is the most tranquil serene peaceful place ever I love it so much and yeah back here there are a few more private rooms as well. Another one of my favorite parts in the garden is the rooftop terrace. It's such a nice place to come hang out, do a little bit of work. There's an outdoor kitchen. But I really love to come up here and read and just chill after work. The view is absolutely incredible and it's such a nice place to hang out around sunset. It's always a huge warning when you come to San Chris, like don't brush your teeth with water, be careful with the fruits and vegetables, blah, 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 blah. So I almost, almost made it a week before, before I felt the effects. Today's been pretty rough, but I'm trying to keep a positive attitude. It hasn't been so bad, like it wasn't as insane as when I got that parasite in Puerto Escondido. So I'm crossing my fingers that 
hopefully it'll pass because we have just planned like a really fun spontaneous trip to Chamula. No, not Chamula. Oh, that's the other thing. We were gonna go to Chamula this weekend or tomorrow, but it's actually Semana Santa because it's Easter on Sunday. So things are really crazy around here. And we were gonna go with some of the volunteers from the hostel, but they said that it is a little bit unsafe and really crowded to go tomorrow because it's Semana Santa. So instead, I think we're gonna go to Comitan, which is like a small town a bit south of here. And it's like a great place to spend a night or two and then go explore a lot of the waterfalls in the surrounding area it's about a two two and a half hour drive from here so that is the plan for the weekend i will die if i miss another weekend here so i'm really really sending good vibes to the tummy i'm actually about to go pick up my laundry so i'm going to take you because it's a really great place literally right around the corner from co 404 very affordable so let's go get my things so you basically just walk out of the door take a right and then walk down and then take the first right and it's on that street. Hola, buenas. That was super quick and easy, 24 hour turnaround. And what I always do at laundromats, because you can't really do your own laundry anywhere in Mexico that I've found, is I ask them to dry it on low, like low temperature, whatever. And it usually helps with delicates for sure. So I'm sure this is great. If it's not, I will tell you. Okay, it's the next day. I am feeling so much better, thank God, because basically what ended up happening yesterday that was like the kiss of death was I was obviously feeling horrible already. Things were happening. So I was like, I'm gonna take, I'm not a doctor, but I took my ciprofloaxin, is, in, is what it is in English. It's basically the antibacteria antibiotic that I got in Puerto Escondido when I was super sick. And you just take one pill and it kind of like wipes your system, which it's not super good for you, but I was reading a lot online that like it can be taken as a preventative if you ingest water. So I took that and then I realized that I hadn't eaten all day, like after I already ingested it for like an hour. So I was so incredibly nauseous for the whole rest of the day through the night. It was awful, but I am feeling a lot better today. So we are going on our adventure. Thank God I was so scared I wasn't gonna I was gonna miss my weekend but I'm basically I have to move out of my private room I'm moving into the dorm so I am gonna pack up now pack a little weekend bag I think we're gonna stay two nights so we're gonna play it by ear and we're gonna explore like a ton of off the beaten path waterfalls and spots because we'll have a car I'm so excited to bring you guys along I feel like this is gonna be a really great weekend so okay this is everything I'm gonna take I think to the weekend trip Mostly just like hiking clothes and bathing suit. Oh shoot, I need to get my bathing suit. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, otherwise I'm just gonna pack everything up into my backpack and then leave it here. I don't wanna be lugging that massive thing with me on the bus later. Um, so yeah. It's adventure time. <laughs> Driver, Victor, Hola. and our photographer Tess, <laughs> and the animator. <laughs> <laughs> That's Guatemala. Hey, we're not positive, but we think this is the International Lake. Yeah. Oh wow! Just got the notification on my phone that we're in Guatemala. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Guatemala. We're not there. Take a wrong turn. Hola, some champions. <laughs> The water is so blue, there's so many waterfalls! Oh my god! This was a million percent worth that three hour drive. Oh my god! I can't get over the color! I have never seen anything like this in my whole life. Literally, you just 
walk through the jungle on these rocks and there's just more and more pools of this like Gatorade blue water and waterfalls and I've honestly never seen anything like this in my life. But those views were insane. Okay, so we're on the other side. <laughs> okay, we're on the other side of the bridge now. Technically, this is not part of like the tourism area. So if anything happens, we're liable for that. Or they're not liable. We're trying to find like the pools over here. Apparently there's like a beach as well. It's like chill out and get some more cool shots. But we're on such an adventure and I'm loving it. Blown. I feel like this is heaven. Like I actually am so, I don't know how to describe what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing right now. I was not expecting this at all. My life is not real. <laughs> all right, adventure number one. Down. Off to the next. Woo! So obviously, you can tell by now, Chiapas is absolutely unreal for anything nature, but I was not expecting this. I've been blown away this entire day. It's just a testament to what you can do if you really just venture off the beaten path. I don't think we would have come here if it wasn't for Victor and Tess. It's the only reason we're here. Because they're super, super adventurous. Victor's Mexican, so he's really comfortable driving in these areas. They rented a car and Tess met one of the people that run the Instagram for this area, like the tourism Instagram. And him and his family have been showing us around this whole area, helping us through the hikes, showing us all the spots, and they're so nice. I'm not sure what's going on. We're just following people. And we made it to the other side. Oh my God. <laughs> such a how did I get here moment. I think the coolest part about this whole place is how untouched and undiscovered it is. Literally the only people at this place and the last waterfall are all locals. I have not seen one foreigner. I've gotten a lot of stares. You just, you don't see places like this very often nowadays. I feel so, so lucky to be here. Venga, Victor. I need a camp here for sure. Yeah, hey, trust me, stay next week. I know! Stay next week. I know. <laughs> I've met all my adventure buddies. Oh, it's the squad. Yeah, these two are the most adventurous people I've met in a minute. A couple goals. And then we got Vero. Who keeps, who keeps hitting her head on everything. <laughs> but we love her. <laughs> We're a little more dead today than yesterday, but we're surviving. El Chiflon will be worth it. <laughs> So El Chiflon is definitely not as hidden and secret as the waterfalls from yesterday. This is one of the most popular places to come to from San Chris. I think it's only like a two hour ride to get here. So today, in addition to it being a very touristy place, it's also Easter. So one of the most busy touristy days of the year, no doubt. So we got here at 8 a.m. So we're gonna avoid some of the crowds and we're basically walking, I think it's about a kilometer to get to like the main waterfall, but there's like four or five along the way. Wow. Cascado Uno. Check. I feel like I'm at like a theme park. <laughs> like how is this real? Wait, I'm so 
I'm sorry. What the f What? I'm so lucky. You have to come here. Wow. Insane. <laughs> All right. Goal is to stand there and get a drone shot. Can we do it? Yes. <laughs> The most amazing waterfall I've ever been to, ever seen, ever experienced. Oh my god, this is like the best day of my whole life. There's something about that mist that like makes you feel high, I swear. And I just, I can't believe I'm looking down from there and there's not a person here besides our group. This is so unbelievable. I am lost for words again. This 800 meter hike, straight up hill, is putting me to shame. But I'm sure this waterfall will be worth it. I used to be in so much better shape than this. Oh my god. So I made it to the final waterfall that we can get to. This is Quintanera. And a lot of times if you come here on a tour, they don't take you all the way up here. They just stop at that second one, which was super epic. But if you want to challenge yourself and do like an actual hike, as you can see from the drone footage from Tess, there are like 12 waterfalls that scale up the entire mountain. It's absolutely crazy. Just feeling so grateful to be here. And um, yeah, it's only 10.30 a.m. So. This is a great start to the day. Okay, pro tip, make sure you wear bunk spray. I'm getting completely eaten live right now. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's actually really nice though. It feels super refreshing. Oh, yes. And now it's starting not to be too cold, but. Yeah, that view isn't bad. We climbed that. Having a casual casual lunch and there's some visitors. Hello, sir. Oh my god, there's so many. What? Chiapas, but definitely plan to return this time flew by obviously because I was sick for a little bit and also I only was here for two weeks and there's just so much to explore in this region so I do definitely plan to come back I believe early next year so stay tuned but I am heading somewhere that was not part of the initial plan um, so I think you're gonna be a little surprised when you see the next video but definitely stay tuned I'm really excited for where I'm heading and for everything that I have planned so make sure that you are subscribed so you see all of that and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it I definitely worked super hard on it and go check out Tess's Instagram as well for some more amazing drone and photography content but as always thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye